What's up, Bug Doug with Dini in the Garage. Today we're gonna to do another episode of Tens or Trash, where I'm gonna bring you a relatively obscure tool. We are going to discuss the facts of the matter, and you're gonna decide down in the squawk boxes if it's Tens or Trash. Today I'm coming to you from the side of the road, pulled on over in my daily, because what I believe I have for you is a contender for being the perfect backseat toolkit slash breakdown box slash junkyard kit. We're looking at the Duratec 40 piece driver socket and ratchet set. Now, before we get too far into the marketeering on this one, let's address the 600 pound communist gorilla in the room. Yes, if you look into the Duratec name, you're gonna quickly realize we are dealing with one of those offshore communist companies, Chineseium, no big deal because this is not meant to be your master mechanic set. No, at $43 off the Amazon, this is a contender for your back of the car set. Much like this Stanley set, which y'all know if you've seen my videos, is my go-to for the back of the car slash junkyard set. Now what we're looking at here is a 40 piece set containing one 90 tooth ratchet, which is your fine tooth ratchet. You got 21 standard sockets, 16 deep sockets, one spark plug socket. I wonder, is it 16 deep plus one spark plug or is the spark plug included in the deep, and one extension bar. You're looking at a kit that, uh, honestly, the most impressive thing to me was the overall size. 40 pieces in about a 10 by seven by, I don't know, three inch kit here. Good plastic clamshell with a metal latch. Okay, now you got your SAE sizes and your metric as is to be expected. Everything in 12 point, which doesn't really excite me, but it's not all that uncommon. Here's something that is surprising. You got your uh, lifetime warranty. So if one of these breaks, all you got to do is get in a paddle boat, swim on over to Guangdong and ask uh, Chairman Mao for a new piece. Where are you going? Hagzhou, China. No big deal. I'm sure that's uh, on my way to work. Shouldn't be a problem getting the warranty units. Let's break into this old girl. Like I said, you got the metal clip here, though, if you look. Nice plastic hinge. So that's going to be your failure point right there. Uh, and once that thing breaks, you're securing this with a wing and a prayer. Once we get inside, you got a few loose pieces. Maybe the fit on the clamshell leaves a little something to be desired. And we are greeted with a nice shiny kit. Start out by taking a look at the ratchet, pretty standard ratchet shape and size. You got some nice knurling down here on the handle, though I'm not really sure what that would be for outside of decoration. And in the same vein, looks like some Ford Motor Company blue engine block paint, no big deal. We're gonna compare it today to the Stanley ratchet because this Stanley ratchet, in my opinion, is the gold standard for your cheap sets. This hundred and something piece set was 50 bucks at Wally World about 10 years ago. Y'all have seen it in Geez, just about every single video I've ever done, it has lasted so well that it has become my benchmark for inexpensive offshore basic back of the car sets. So this Duratec unit's about the same size if we're gonna be comparing things like that. This is a 72 tooth, this is a 90 tooth. And when you go to crank it, it's relatively smooth, but you can feel a little bit of that Chinese crunchiness. There's a little weeble wobble in the head, but again, for a $43 set that gives you 40 pieces, it's probably not tea bag. Though, as our favorite tool reviewer would say, the proof of the pudding is in the eating. I'm gonna go ahead and use this at the junkyard in the future, and we'll see how she holds up. Now, with a kit like this, you can get inexpensive socket kits. It's not hard. You can get inexpensive Chinese socket kits. It's not hard. You go on Amazon right now, I think EP Auto is one of the cheapest brands you can get. How I really judge a kit like this is the range and the redundancy. On the metric side in standard, you get nine consecutively all the way up to 19. Consecutive meaning they don't skip anything. You've got your 11 in there, which sometimes they skip. Uh, and then moving down here, you've got 5 16ths to 7 8 If a kit doesn't have 5 16 it's useless to me because that's what all my snar blower covers are held on with. Up to 7 8 that's pretty impressive for a 3 8 set, relatively impressive. Uh, certainly for, this is an abbreviated set. You'll notice they didn't include uh, the quarter inch driver adapters for screwdrivers and Allens. This is an abbreviated set. It was designed to be, and in my opinion, it's extremely comprehensive. Now in the deep sockets, same thing, 10 consecutive all the way up to 19. And down here, you've got 7 stints all the way up to 11 stints. Now the 11 stints, in my opinion, is a bit unnecessary. I just, you're, you're using it so infrequently that uh, this probably didn't need to be included. Additionally, and again, this is just a personal thing, I don't need 13, or excuse me, 19 mil and three quarter. All right, if you give me three quarter, 
you can omit the 19 and that is because functionally 19 millimeter and three quarters of an inch are so close a few thousandths off that uh, they do the same thing now this whole set is 12 point i don't love that i prefer a six point here's something interesting they did give you a a, a 12 point deep 5 8 to match the rest of the kit. Though they also gave us a spark plug 5 8 which is six point with the rubber retainer in there. I like that, it's a nice touch. They very easily could have included one or the other. They went for both. What I have here is a half inch socket. It's a Craftsman socket from the 1970s when Craftsman was still quality, still made in the US. I inherited from my grandfather. Let's compare it to the Duratec half inch. They're both 3 8 drive, they're both 12 point. You can see a drastic difference in wall diameter or wall thickness and overall diameter rather, uh, compared with the Chineseum communist version and the US capitalism version. I know which one I would choose, but again, we're talking about a certain price point with this kit. It's not the kind of kit that I'm gonna fix uh, or pull out to fix uh, the car all the time, but it is gonna sit under the driver's seat. And again, because of the compact size, uh, that's the kind of thing that drew me to it. So at this point, we've discussed the case, its benefits and limitations. We've discussed the sockets, their benefits and limitations. I can't really do much of a torture test here on the spot, because I wouldn't even know what to do to hit all the markers. But in the future, we're certainly going to be uh, testing this out at the junkyard, and maybe we'll pull it out for some jobs around the homestead. But what I want to know from you, for $43, shooting from the hip on a whim the way I did, would you buy this thing? Is it tens? You got to have it. Keep it under a seat. Keep it in a backpack. Keep it, uh, you know, in with your spare tire. Or is it trash? Would you rather spend the money on a quality gear wrench set or uh, maybe even something better? I mean, listen, we're talking about driveway monkeys here. I don't expect too many people that are watching this channel invest in Snap-on, Mac, Matco. It's awesome if you do. It's awesome if you can. I can't. My main uh, vocation does not require me to buy hand tools like this. So I can't invest the big bucks. I got to hunt down the yard sale US made craftsman or try to figure out is a little Duratec set like this that barely costs as much as a tank of gas in my humble little Subaru. Is it worth it? Is it tense or is it trash? You leave me a comment down in the squawk boxes. Let me know what you think about this. Let me know if you've used any other Duratec tools. Let me know what you look for in a cheap set. What's your benchmark? Mine is this Stanley kit. I've tried to kill it, have not been able to. In fact, at some point in the near future, I'm gonna do a video on this set because it is just venerable, loyal as all get out. Let me comment down in the squawk boxes. If you like the video, like the video, subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching. See you next time.